How's it going, everybody? Today we're going to be playing some Yamoja. And one reason I'm playing Yamoja is today I was on, you know, I was streaming, and someone came to my chat and asked me, you know, how, what do you think about Yamoja? And you know, I kind of gave my thoughts on Yamoja, but then another viewer pointed out that Yamoja is one of the gods that people ask me about like all the time. Like I didn't realize it until today, but. Yeah, people ask me about Yamoja and what I think about Yamoja almost like constantly. So I'm like, you know what? Yeah, we'll play we'll play some Yamoja. Uh ooh, what do I want to go against that? Maybe Vampiric Shroud? I think Vampiric Shroud's on her. And but yeah, so we're gonna be playing Yamoja because she's one of the gods that people ask me my thoughts on the most. We're gonna pause also. And I guess I can oh, they are back. Uh I can take the time to say that pretty much my thoughts on Yamoja is she's alright. I mean, I feel pretty indifferent about her one way or the other. Like, her the advantages is she's got a good lockdown, good range, good damage. When you get a kill, you can use your three to push the minions closer to the enemy objective. But the downsides of her is her damage really isn't that good. It's been nerfed a lot. She can't build things like Bumba's Hammer. Uh, Just like, I don't know, a lot of, unfortunately... Things that you would think would be amazing on her just don't don't work too well, unfortunately. I hate to invade you, but I also don't want people starting at blue buff if if uh, I'm not. There we go. It's a little bit bad. Oh wait, they got mannequins. Never mind. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! I just read. Wait, mannequins on Morgan Le Fay. Phantom on Morgan Le Fay. Mages, magic focus. What are you doing? What are you building? Actually, the magic focus isn't bad. The rest of it is, uh, I guess I'm going on against an auto attack build of some sort with Phantom. I guess the Phantom's to counter my ultimate. But I don't think... I think it's fine to not get Phantom against Yamoja. I think Aegis is better, honestly. Like, if you get trapped in it, it's not a big deal in duels as long as you have Aegis to get, to get rid of most of the damage that's going to hit you. Because even if you get out of the ultimate, it's really the, all the extra abilities from Yamoja that's going to kill you anyways. But we will see. I'm going to try to bait out her Phantom right away. That way, when I recall, I can come back with my ultimate next time. So we're going to do this. She's going to phantom. There we go. Now we recall. <laughs> and next time I have my ultimate, uh, we'll be good. And hold on. Yamoja ultimate is 140 seconds. I had no idea. I had no clue it was 140 seconds. Oh my god. That's so long. That's so long. And it doesn't scale down. Either A, it's been a long time since I've played Yamoja, or I just didn't realize how long her ultimate is. Because that Phantom will be up in time, I'm pretty sure. So never mind. Can't do that strat. Yeah, 150 seconds. Yeah, Phantom's actually fine here, the more I think about it. That's a long ultimate. Like, even all the run ult, I think, is shorter than that late game. And even, uh, like, Morgan ult. Like, the Morgan, her ultimate is basically every ultimate. And I think it scales down to less than that. That's so good. Or that's so good that for Morgan, uh, the Morgans, oh, I mean, that it's basically shorter than Yamoja's late game. We are most likely to get Kronos Pennant. Kronos Pennant works great with Yamoja as every time you get the passive one second cooldown, it actually gives you Omi. Yamoja is one of the weirdest, one of the weird gods in Smite because she doesn't have mana. She has Omi. I can also open the ability menu for anyone that wants to read that. I know that there's been a lot of new players watching my games. Oh, we got to back up, back up, back up. If anyone's wondering why we don't level up the two, that is because it costs uh, three Omi, and it's worse than our one in a dual setting. It's it's the heal, but we don't have teammates to heal, so it's useless in dual. And the only advantage it has is it does bonus damage to shields, and we're not fighting a god with a shield. So 
no reason to ever use our two when we can use our one instead because the one only costs two omi the three costs or the two costs three omi and that is why even like in the late game you don't really use it unless i guess they're low health and you want to get an easy to hit ability that's the only reason i can think of in this matchup if you're getting someone with the shield i mean it does triple damage against that so then it makes sense she has divine ruin which makes sense for the build i'm going it's a shame with vampiric shroud i get health and mana but since i don't have mana it doesn't really help me in that regard i think that's okay yeah i drastically underestimated her there I did not wall her off properly. I aged stiff only because I thought she was going to throw her three. I was definitely in range of that. For her three or her one? Whichever the one the fire is. The Morgan Le Fay's uh, fire ability. All right, we need to start worrying about defense. I think uh, Genji's is good on... Really good on your Moja. Better than most gods because it's similar to Kronos Pennant in terms of when we get the passive... Uh, it just gives us Omi straight up, which is helpful for all of our abilities. Whereas sometimes if you have Genji's on a different god and one of your abilities is on cooldown for like one second, then it wastes, kind of wastes the Genji's proc. But not really on your Moja, unless you're full Omi, in which case uh, it doesn't really matter either way. But I feel like that's not a, that's not very often. I will most likely get anti-heal for Mar uh, Morgan Le Fay. <clears throat> I can actually heal my minions, I'm pretty sure. Or is it only on gods? It might only be on gods. I don't know if this bug is still in the game because uh, Death Toll was removed from Duel. But there was a while where... If you built Death Toll on your Moja and you auto attack through the wave, it would proc Death Toll on every single allied minion. You could just heal to full health. But I don't know if that's still a bug or not. Blue buff is actually useful on us because the cooldown uh, is basically just extra mana or Omi. Let's just get Omi faster. Yeah, we're kind of useless until we get full cooldown. Full cooldown is very necessary on us. Okay, let's back off. I'm mostly scared for the late game, but we will see what happens. All right, I'm getting on out of here. We must adapt. It's kind of a waste to use my three out of base if I really think about it because of how much we need Omi. But you can see how fast we're getting it with 20% cooldown. 10 from blue buff, 10 from... Uh, Genji's. So we're getting there. We just need Kronos Pennant, and that's pretty much it. We'll probably want a Divine Rune because Morgan Le Fay heals a lot in her ultimate. Um, Polynomicon could be good. I'm just thinking of a lot of options right now. We should save our second relic for what she gets because if she gets a horrific or something like that, That'd be really bad. I also am going to need to start warding uh, Demon King because she has mannequins. And even though she's not an auto attack based god currently, uh, that mannequins could shred Demon King so fast. So, 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 so fast. That's a little bit of damage. Right now we're doing more damage than she's doing, which is good. Okay, she's gonna use Phantom. All right, cool stuff, cool stuff. We're just gonna wait on our Omi. Okay, she does recall. I thought she would stay. She was just baiting. So we'll take this red buff and then we will Recall, and we'll be fine. All right, but yeah, overall thoughts on Yumoja. She's, I mean, she's pretty. She's like a solid god. She's just not one of my favorites. I don't really know why. 
She used to be, but she got a lot of nerfs. And understandably so, you know, a lot of the nerfs were justified uh, for conquests and stuff. But, man, it messed up my, my dual play style because I can't even use her too in dual, you know what I mean? Like, it's not even that good. Ow. Oh, we're doing good amount of damage. Oh, but then she has her ultimate. That's why we have Aegis. Yeah, let's get Chronos Pen at first, and then we will get uh, Divine Rune. I don't think Divine Rune is too high priority yet. I think we're fine with what we have currently. This game's going pretty good. We're slightly ahead. It's very close. It's kind of funny that I was laughing at her, uh, her Phantom when I first load in, but then I forget. Yeah, it's actually pretty good against Yamocha. <laughs> it's just I do almost never see the relic because hell, I play Ymir all the time, but no one gets Phantom against Ymir, is all I'm saying. Even when I play Odin, no one gets Phantom. At least in duel. I could trap her here, but I don't know how useful it is. Okay, I thought I would do a hell of a lot more damage. We unfortunately are going to miss some of the wave. Unless I like can just get behind the corner. Okay, she's leaving. Um, okay, no, we're fine. I was, I was going to say we were going to miss some of the wave. Because if she ults us, we just die. But now nah, she kind of gave up the pressure. Which is good for us. Let's start getting some more wards. Uh, she got Sunder. Which means... I think I'm going to go Blink, to be honest. I think Blinking... I think Morgan Le Fay's strength is how long distance she is and how much she can just poke you out. But I think her weakness is when you get near her and her dragon is down or her other ability. And then, like, if I get next, next to her an altar and then just spam my one, that could be huge. Especially if her phantom's down. If her uh, phantom is down. Ultimate is now down to 126, which is still pretty long. And my one's hitting for like 100 damage right now, which isn't great. Oh, we need Divine Ruin because she got Soul soul Jam again. We're going to get it after Chronos Pennant because we need the Omi regen. Nice damage. Good damage. We don't want her to get this red buff. So we will try to contest for this. Okay, I'm, I might need to build up a little bit of Omi. Oh, thank you. <laughs> she just procced my Genjis, which gave me like three Omi. Yeah, let's build it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Enough to get like two abilities off. Plus, we're still poking her with it, which is great. Also, a little life pro tip. Uh, if you are fighting a Umoja, is when she does the bubble ability, run under where the first bubble landed. And you can't get hit by the, uh, the other bubbles. Or I guess where the second bubble lands. If you run where the second bubble lands, uh, you won't get hit by the outer edges. I'll try to show you here. Like, if you run under that... Yeah, you won't get hit by it. And it makes it a lot easier. It, like, sounds obvious, but uh, when it's pointed out to you, like it was pointed out to me, uh, you start making the conscious effort of doing so. And then you negate, you don't take so much damage, you know? Kind of going on a tangent, but it's good information. Oh, sorry, I should back, but we could do one more wave. All right, now we back. We get Chronos Pennant. We are now at a strong point in our game. Oh, I like this one. Um, once we get Divine Rune, that'll be even better. We have a lot of Omi right now. Yeah, so I'm going to be full Omi, but if you pay attention to Chronos Pennant passive, when I'm not full Omi 
and it triggers, uh, it gives a like a couple bars of Omi, which is super helpful. I wonder how uh, upgrade meditation would work on her. Actually, if I think about it. All right, Aegis. All right, that's her phantom. How? You know what? I'll take my leave. Oh, for phantom is fine. However, I use both my relics, unfortunately. I think she won that fight overall, but we didn't die, so that's that's a good part. Your middle tower is under attack. Yeah, I hope to get Yomoja Diamond out at some point. I don't I haven't been playing her too much. I should really start playing her more on stream. Uh, cause she is she's pretty fun. I think what really made me stop playing her was during the kind of the warrior animosity meta. Cause I would get in game with Yomoja and then they would just go full defense and Yomoji does nothing against that, you know? Or same thing with the Death's Embrace meta. But now that those are gone, she seems fine to play again. We're kind of taking a lot of poke here, so we're probably not going to want to stay. I think she knows that, which is why she's pushing so much. I will give up red buff to get my Divine Rune. Because now her healing is overwhelming. She also went Karen's coin, which means we cannot trade. We do not want to give her stacks on Karen's coin, so no trading. If I have an opportunity to get a kill under tower, and the, but she's going to kill me as well, we do not go for it. Because it will not be worth it. Unless there's some weird situation where it would be worth, but chances of that coming up is very low. About half of her health. Oh, her ultimate is so damn good. Ah, oh, dude, there's no way I was getting out. I can't believe I juke every hit of her ult, which, by the way, Morgan Le Fay ult is super easy to hit. Uh, just to die to her other ability. Damn, man. This is getting a little bit rough. I don't want to go double defense. Polly, I like the idea of Polly because if I get a kill... I can bring the minions with me, with my three, to take her tower and her phoenix. So I kind of like the idea. Plus, I'm weaving a lot of autos between my abilities anyways. Uh, let's get some more wards. I don't think she's getting very much... Like, I don't know. Her mannequins is doing quite a bit of damage, but... I can't imagine it's enough where it's actually worth it. Value-wise. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. What I'm worried of is I think that's going to become a hidden blade, which will destroy me. Because that'll be so much damage, and it'll be physical damage, which means I can't mitigate it. So if she goes hidden blade, we'll have to try to get her in combat. That way, the passive of hidden blade disables. Because I think hidden blade's passive is next time you deal damage, uh, you deal 20% of their maximum health as physical damage or something like that. It's a huge amount of damage. Um, however, if you're in combat, the passive gets disabled, put on cooldown. If you deal damage or if you take damage. Yeah, she's poking me hard, man. I hate fighting Morgan Le Fay. Oh, she going Spear of the Mages, I'm assuming. Yeah, even if I'm hitting her a lot, it doesn't make too much of a difference. Oh, I like this one. And our starter item, we're probably going to turn into Blood Soak to just give us a lot of sustain. Uh, even if it's out of combat. Okay, this is problematic. Because that wave is there and I don't want to miss out on it. But we also need to defend this. Okay, we're going to alter into this. Nice. The 
feel bad doing this, just taking Demon King and running. But that was such a greedy, that was such a greedy Demon King that I can't just let that go unpunished, you know? Oh, nice still got away. Probably didn't have to age us, but better safe than sorry. Oh, good overall. Got to take a deep breath, take our victories. We got a uh, Demon King. Hopefully we can take Tower with it. Man, Morgan Le Fay is so hard to fight. I was banning her for a while, but then people stopped picking her. So I was like, I guess I don't have to ban her anymore. But now she's picked again. <laughs> I always go back and forth on my bans. All right. We need a poker. Spear of Desolation. Uh, that item is not a dual item. Why would you get Spear of Deso instead of Spear of the Mages? I feel like. You know what I mean? That move of speed is un very difficult to deal with yeah she's she's got an insane amount of move of speed and i can't let her kill me because the more she kills me uh the faster she gets with uh karen's coin which is super problematic you know what i mean back door protections are actually disabled right now Funnily enough. She ulted me, so now we're pretty much outy. She was able to defend her tower, but look how low it is. I got it. Hey, minions never let me down. This is such a weird matchup, dude. Alright, let's get this. Hopefully that'll help us a bit more. Uh... And then we'll we'll save our gold for when we get blood soaked. I think then we'll upgrade Aegis and all that good stuff. This is difficult, man. This is difficult. She sold mannequins. Thank goodness she's not getting mid hidden blade, but she's getting gem viso. I think, which means I got to get a wing blade. I might have to sell Polly for Wingblade, unfortunately, if she is getting a Gem Viso. Because I, I need something against that. I can't just, you know, not. We will die if that happens. Could also sell Bancroft's. Bancroft's giving us a lot of power, though. And I kind of want my starter item. But at the same time, she has so much anti-heal. Uh, she just went straight for our wave, so we're going to go straight for her wave as well. Hmm. I don't know. For now, let's just upgrade our start item. Okay, cool. Oh, I like this one. For all we know, it could be an e staff. Isn't that the same uh, same tree, right? Yeah, it could be an e staff. So we don't know yet. If it is a gem, gotta sell something. I don't. I don't know what yet, but I I will die if we do not get a wing blade. I probably could have stolen that if I paid more attention. Dude, she is so fast. She is fast, fast. That is such a weird game. I don't know if I'm healing enough for Blood Soak to actually be worth it, though. I'm really not. Yeah, I think actually Blood Soak has got to go. Unless she sells her defense. Because I was looking at my healing numbers off of the wave there, and I think I was just healing more with just the flat lifesteal. Than I was with, uh, you know. Oh, there's the sneaky demon king. That's why we ward and duel, you guys. Or is it just the minis? It's just the minis. Never mind. Thought I was about to get my second demon king still of the game. Damn, she is fast. Get that poly shot on her. Was that... That gem viso uh wing blade kind of saved us there a little bit you can see how problematic it gets oh 
Oh my god, I can't recall because of her. Uh, her fire. Oh my goodness. Oh, I tried to blink, but the minions unfortunately shot me. I was going to blink alt. That would have been so good for myself. Oh, I just... I just that backfired on myself. There we go, dude. That was so well done. The only thing I did wrong there was walk into my three on accident, which shoved me backwards. But overall, that was good. I think we made the right choice with uh, swapping our items out. Again, double defense, kind of annoying to do get. But when you're up against Morgan Le Fay as a guardian, sometimes those gentlemen rules, uh, they can't, you know, you can't keep them up. Otherwise, you just lose. Plus, Wing Blade's not that big of a defense in many ways. Polly's going to help out a lot here. There we go. Now we want to back up. Try to get red buff, maybe. This is just really good for us. We're also... Uh, we we weren't actually 40% cooldown until we got... Oh, yeah. Red buff's down low. Oh, never mind. Uh, we actually weren't 40% cooldown until I got my power potion. So I think that's kind of why we started winning fights a little bit more. Just Omi regen is everything. Let's do that. Yeah, just just the the consistent poke and everything. Yeah, I don't think Spear of the Deso is that good in duel. I I really don't think it is. You don't get any value out of the passive, and it basically has the same stats as Spear of the Mages, except for minus the cooldown. So it's like, why not get Spear of the Mages? Also, she has double defense now. She sold her Gem Visa, which means I can sell my Wing Blade back for blood soaked if i want to or i can keep it honestly i mean she has a strong slow anyways i'm happy with either okay The fight didn't go exactly the way I wanted it to, but... Alright, here's what we're going to do. Because she sold that, we're instead going to get, uh, I think, a Typhons. Because we have two lifesteal items. Even though she has anti-heal, uh, that will give us some pen. Not much pen, mind you, but uh, it'll give us a lot of power. A lot of power, a little bit of pen. And yeah, we don't really need the wing blade. It's not do or die now that she's sold her gem viso. Again, if she rebuys it, we can just swap items again. Uh, wing blade's pretty cheap, so she'll be the one on the losing end of swapping items out if we go that way. Doesn't happen too often in duel where you're both constantly swapping items out to try to counter each other, but could happen here. Because she knows that without my wing blade, she can win with gem viso. But I also know if I just keep the gem, or if I keep the wing blade, uh, it could be harming my build when she doesn't have the gem viso. Yeah, even with the Divine Ruin, we still heal quite a bit with our life still. We should get a ton of power. Okay, we need a back. Really weird alt by me, but I couldn't really position it any better, to be quite honest. And we can just use our three on out of here. I think one of the strengths of Morgan Le Fay is how fast she is. And quite frankly, my three is able to keep me away from her, which is great. Um, she does, however, get that Phoenix up, which is really bad for us. But um, it's okay. Play, play it safe, you know. The game's almost 30 minutes long. Got to play it safe. If we don't play it safe, uh, we could lose the game. I'd rather play it safe. Please tell me. She, oh, she did not get red buff, but now she's here. Whoever gets this red buff, it's going to be super important. So I do not want her to get it. Also, these poke fights, I think I will win it just because I have so much life still. If she doesn't, if she kind of lets me do my thing.
Okay, just back up. No reason to go next to her again. She's the one that's got to leave, not me. Again, we get a huge amount of healing here as long as she doesn't hit me. Just look at my health bar. Back to full health pretty much, which is great. Okay, I'm going to spam this to get it down. I haven't popped my extra power potion yet because uh, we still have plenty of time on my current one. I bought it kind of ahead of time because these fights are lasting a while. I don't want to run out of my potion in the middle of a fight. But we should probably get some wards, so I might have to pop it anyways to get wards. Okay, let's back up a little bit. Wait for some Omi. When we're low Omi, it's generally better to just run for a little bit. Let her catch up to me. Let's get a little bit more XP and gold. This this game is going to come down to 3k potions. Potions that cost 3k don't, don't happen too often in Duel, man. Let me tell you. But when they do, it comes down to every penny on who can get who can get it faster and whose build complements the potion more to be honest okay low on Ma omi just poly and run okay her divine rune's about to run out so I can heal a bit. Oh, unfortunately, she applied it again. We are on the losing side of this fight currently, but we have a lot of space to work with in general. So that's always good. If I lose this game, it's going to be because her ult's going to hit me for like 2,000 damage. Maybe not that much, but you know. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait. Actually, I need wards. I absolutely need wards. Uh, fun fact, Demon King gets more health the longer the game goes. So Demon King is at the point where uh, I don't think she can kill it very fast. We both can take it, but it'll take so long that the other person could just go with the wave down the middle of the lane. And they win the game, pretty much. So, yeah, the longer the game goes, the harder it is to take Demon King, which kind of makes the game even longer. Man, missing the poly shots is, is kind of sucks. I'm missing most of them. Maybe I should swap poly out for something. Something else. Oh, this bad? Damn, was her phantom still up? She walked straight through that. I know she used her phantom prematurely on accident, so I waited, then ulted, hoping that her phantom would still be down. But uh, no, I guess it was still up. We are going to lose Phoenix off of that. Possibly ta uh, Titan. That could be game. We're at 32 minutes into this game. Uh, pretty even game overall. Let's see. If these brutes die, her going for Red Wolf was a big mistake. She should not have let those brutes die. They have so much health at this point in the game. Yeah, no, that's not game. That's not game. We're still in this. We're still in this. Kind of wasted 500 gold on the extra potion last time, but that's okay. Doesn't happen too often. I don't know why she's going for Demon King currently. Yeah, look how much health it has. Oh, she realized she can't go for it. I have Blink. I think I chase here. No, she's gone. <gasps> oh my goodness! <laughs> I like how I said she's gone, and then I just barely saw her out of the corner of my eye. Okay, we need to push. We need to push. Uh, I'm ulting. Just to get Omi. Okay, come on, minions. Come with me. I don't think I get anything off of this, but might as well try to ult and see if I can. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't have the Omi bed. I don't have the Omi. 
Okay, I don't get anything off this. Fine. That's fine. Yeah, even with eight seconds left? Nah. Okay, best case scenario, uh, I guess I just get my blue buff and then get 3k potion and then make the next fight count. She does have two stacks on Karen's coin now. That doesn't really make too big of a difference. It's more when it gets... Uh, it's more when it gets the max stacks that it becomes a little bit of a problem with the movement speed. But right now we're good. All right, I have 761 power. She has 525. But we have Yamoja scaling, which is not great. Yamoja scaling is not good. That's what we got Polly for. That's what we got Polly for. Nah, I can't get her, man. I can't. She's so fast. Oh, that was so close. I even, I think I even landed my poly shot there, or at least one or two. I landed three poly shots on her. Ah, we need pen. We need pen. She has triple defense, or not triple, double defense still. All right, I'm selling poly. I love poly, Nomicon. You're a great item. But man, all I need is penetration because she's just so tanky. We also need to save up for a 500 potion pretty soon. Dude, this game is so long. If I cannot find you. It's so long. Also, I should have taken red buff. That's okay. It's not like I could have picked it up anyway, so waiting. If I can wait and pick it up, that'll be better. Or right now she's backing up. I just burst it. I just burst it. This is so important to have right now. So now I can pick it up in 15 seconds, and I'm going to have a huge amount of power. Okay. 849 power. Okay, with 30% pen. Ow. Oh, she's going to ult me. I'm dead. Ah, dude, that ult is so good. Was that her ultimate that hit me for a thousand even though she missed two shots? Or what ability is that? I don't know her abilities very well. Ah, oh, this is so rough, man. She is mitigating so much damage. And now she has three stacks on Karen's coin. Ah, oh, my 3k potion is starting to run out too. It's looking dicey. <laughs> Almost a 40 minute match, man. Oh, goodness. I'm losing my sanity. Okay. I was like, hey, let's, you know, let's, you have an upload in two days. Let's record a quick duel game. And then 40 minutes later, we're still in it. Oh my God, dude. It's still not over. <laughs> it's still not over. This is not okay. Oh my goodness, she took my blue buff too. Could sell Typhons for Rod. Like that. 725 power. 30% pen still. Less life still, but that's okay. Again, if she is going for Demon King, at this point, I don't think... <laughs> Demon King might as well not exist at this point. Like, if you take it, uh, it's a miracle. I mean, I should still check it. Or should I? I don't think... It, it, my Phoenix is down. It doesn't matter. I might as well push if she's taking it. The Bancrofts we can also sell for something with pen or something weird. Uh like a Jeff Vice, so I don't know. 
or double defense if we want to. I know we're missing a lot of abilities, but you guys have to realize how fast she is. I thought I heard her, her ultimate. Did she not ult? I could have sworn I heard her ultimate. I guess I don't know the voice line too well. Oh, got to back up. This red buff is so important. I can't give just give it up. <gasps> oh my goodness. Run. <laughs> Run. Run like the wind. We got red buff. Okay, I have 937 power. Oh, but I only have 35 seconds on my 3k pot. I should try to force a fight. Oh, no. Okay, well, we need to farm for 3,000 gold again. Damn, when I picked up that red buff, I actually should have immediately turned on her. Just because I still had 3k pot. 40 minute mark. This is becoming one of my longest matches this season. We we're quickly approaching that. Keep in mind her phantom is down. No! No! Oh, I got so greedy at the end trying to push her into Phoenix so that she would die to it. It was worth a shot, man. Oh, what a crazy game. 41 minutes. Anyways, that's Yomoja. That's how I feel about Yomoja. That's over my general thoughts. It does feel like a lot of times, Yomoja, you get to late game and you can't quite do enough to end. Oh, man. GG's. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate that. And if you want to let me know what next god you want me to play. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time.